Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is February the 24th, 2022. Let's talk about Loopring today. I'm here to provide an update to everyone who is holding this particular particular type of cryptocurrency to make sure that we are still in position to capitalize on the price moves. So if today's your first time ever seeing my videos and my content, welcome to the channel. This is what I do. I simply look at the price bars and the volume to determine whether price is going to go. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? So if you guys are interested in what I do or at best you'd like to have a heads up as to where price is going to go, then make sure you join the team. Yeah, hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe here to the channel because you guys can see it. Loop Ring and pretty much every other altcoin cryptocurrency in the space today is going down drastically, but we should not be surprised. We should not be caught off guard because, I mean, even when you look at Loop Ring's chart, we've been in a downtrend since like December, November time frame. So for us to see the market down 13 and three quarters of a percent right now, it's not a surprise. So if anyone's scratching their head trying to figure out, okay, why is the price going down? That really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is us being in position to win from the move. All right. So before I go into what I'm thinking the price in loop ring is going to go next, let's talk about my last price prediction. You guys can see it. It is right here. Okay. Last video was concluded and done on the 27th of January, 2021, right here. I was telling you all then I was playing some bullishness into the market in loop ring and I wanted you all to see this right here. Can you all tell where the sellers came through into the market in loop ring? Let me zoom in. Right. So go back and listen to that video because I told you all that that would be an area of TP for us into the market in loop ring. And that was the only opportunity that we had for us to come in and grab some profits right here on the 7th of February. So I did a video on the 27th and us getting our first area or price target right there around $1.20 happened on February 7th. So hopefully you all were able to nibble from that particular move because it's 15%. Yeah, 15% you all could have gotten in the market from that video, all right? That's done, that is over, let's talk because we got to revise the price chart. So look at this. I think the answer has already been determined where we think the price is going to go, right? Can you see where I had established this horizontal line? Take a look. Price and loop ring is now breaking that. That's not a good thing. The buyers needed to uphold loop rings price above this horizontal line. For us to see the market down 13, almost 14% today, Kind of lets us know that the consensus is that the market wants to break that horizontal line so we need to address that we need to make sure that we keep focus on price and loop ring now the question is can the market come all the way back down to come and test this downtrend line because you guys can still see it that we are trading well away from that downtrend line i mean we are what about 63% for us even connecting to this overall downtrend, 63%. Now, I'm not saying that the market is going to go that low. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to gauge the, the validity and the strength of loop ring on this horizontal line. We already know as long as the price in loop ring trades below this horizontal line, we are weak. The price is weak in the market for loop ring. Okay. So considering that this is the case, this is where a majority of the price action has occurred into the market in loop ring, right? I'm going to circle it for you all. So we may not get too much price action in the market in loop ring because we have a lot of business. A lot of trades occurred well below what this 75 cent area all the way back down to 40. Like we can see the price nest in between those two numbers, 75 cents and 40 cents, just like what we did back in last year. February 2021 and then again September August September and October time frame the market in loop ring literally was just trading sideways both of those time periods so we can actually still see that again into the market in loop ring but understand this is not a bullish market understand this is not a neutral market this is a bearish market in loop ring right here this is massively bearish so we should not be establishing any type of ideas to think that the market is strong in loop ring. Now I want you all to see this as well. See that? 
Do you see that? This is important, right? I identified an area that the market in loop ring needs to come in and find the buyers because this is the trend. This trend started all the way back in July 2021. And we need to allow the market in loop ring to continue to hold this overall trend because if so, then right now, yeah, I know it looks bad. I know that this cryptocurrency is down 14%, but man, if the buyers come in right now in loop ring on this ascending line, this is the prime opportunity to come in and scoop up a couple of loop ring coins and place them into your hardware wallet. Right now, let's see though. Let's look at this market in loop ring on a three day time frame. But clearly, this is a massive downtrend that we are in in loop ring. Let's not get it twisted. That's not a bullish chart right here. Let's look at loop ring on a two day then. Again, you guys can see it. This is not strength right here. Look at this on the five day. We got 12 hours and four minutes left. And from a five day perspective, right? If we see this five day price bar look the way that it looks right now in the next 12 hours, I won't be suspecting that the market's gonna hold the trend. I'll be looking for the market to break that trend and possibly try to come down to this next level of support around 50 cents. Yeah, that's another 15% move to the downside, 15%. That's the first area, okay? Right there around 50 cents. This is not bullish. So in the next five days, right? I'm not looking for the market to hold this trend. So I'm going to get rid of it because I'm not looking for the buyers to come in and uphold that price. But instead, I'm looking for the market buyers to try to approach around 50 cents, right? That's gonna be the first area. So it's around 27% movement to the downside from where the market is right now in loop ring. I know you all don't expect it to happen. I think a lot of people when loop ring was trading around $3 and 50, 60 cents that the market will be not, I mean that the market won't be trading around 65 cents today. So yeah, this is a very weak market right now in loop ring. All right, so that's the first area. Let me go ahead and drop this price prediction because I don't want to waste too much of your time. It's a very valuable resource is time. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this price prediction real quick for loop ring. And like I said, we're going to play some weakness here to the downside. Um, going to elevate the overall area of restriction. As long as the price and loop ring trades below like 80 cents, I'm going to play some weakness here on the chart. Okay. First area for us to see the market go. It's going to be around 50 cents. Okay, so that's around 23.88% movement to the downside. That's the first area. Now, the weakness continues. I mean, 40, it's 37.5%. Now, I'm not going to put that there yet. It's going to hold the market around 50 cents here in loop ring. And we already know. Let's look at the monthly time frame because we got a couple of days into the month of February. And I want you all to see that there. That doesn't look good. Look at the current monthly price bar right here. So we got the end of this week, four days and 13 hours left. When we look the way they will look right now, that's not good. Okay. And then from a monthly perspective, we can see the market in loop ring, like I said, come down to 40, even 35 cents, just to test that long-term monthly trend. But overall, I don't like it. I think the market is still weak here in loop ring. I'm just going to continue to simply follow that. All right. And that was your turn. Hey, I give you all the opportunity. I get the comment section open so I could get your opinion as to what do you all think the market's going to do over the next couple of weeks. So now it's your turn. Hit me up. Let me know what do you all think the market and loop ring is going to do going forward. And as always, make sure you maintain the profitability. Trade different.